The Environment Public Authority, the EPA, began a campaign in collaboration with the Ministry of Youth Affairs and the Public Authority for Agricultural Affairs and Fish Resources aimed at protecting the greatly depleting vegetation of Cobar Island. The EPA initiated the campaign since three months ago where teams examined the island's seasonal conditions, the soil plant species and the irrigation methods. Our correspondent Sarah Glubb accompanied them to the island and has this report. The Environment Public Authority or EPA launched a national awareness project to combat the desertification of Kubbar Island and rehabilitate its on and offshore biological diversity. It's been a fruitful day. Uh, it's a campaign uh, we have already announced about it almost uh, three months ago. Uh, one of our uh, main goals is to uh, try our best to uh, increase the greenery of the island of uh, Kubbar. Uh, one of the most beautiful biodiversity that uh, uh, Kubbar uh, has is the, uh, the birds. There are some, you know, some special birds that they come from uh, time to time. Uh, we have been monitoring uh, the island for the past three years. Uh, we have seen that the greenery, uh, the percentage of the greenery has been uh, decreasing for a lot of different, uh, I mean a lot of, uh, of reasons. So we thought with the cooperation with the uh, Ministry of the Youth and some of the uh, environmental activists is to, uh, you know, get this campaign and uh, get it started. The, this is stage one. What we have done uh, today, it's a stage one. Uh, we have already planted around between 400, 450 plants. Uh, it's almost uh, uh, covers around 7% uh, of the mainland of the, uh, of the island. However, the EPA did not want to limit participation to official bodies and sought to involve civil organizations and 120 volunteers in this national project. And this project, uh, this uh, project is unique about greening the islands. Uh, you know, desertation, desertification start in Kuwait and we are going to green these areas, help the government in, in, in greening the islands and also helping the environment to recover, recover the, the environment. Uh, also, we teach the volunteers, new volunteers about greening and how they green their areas in this project. All my team, the group and uh, the Yes We Can and we decided to come to the we decided to come to the Kubar. Uh, I come to make the plan and uh, to help my uh, country with the plan in Kubar. And we make uh, all the thing uh, all the trees about Kuwait and uh, things to feed to make better uh, Kuwait. Kubbar Island distinguished due to its unique ecological environment that attracts turtles is surrounded by coral reefs, algae and is home to many species of birds. Just a few kilometers beyond these shores lies a tiny island that is suffering from depleting vegetation, desertification and even extinction. Yet its biological diversity is so significant that the repercussions are frightening. So it is no wonder that Kuwait's main environmental body has launched this vital campaign. From the shores of Kuwait, this is Sarah Glub reporting for the English News.